In doing these videos every week, I've noticed that we do get questions from time to time on how to fix particular problems with airsoft guns. So I thought this week we'd tackle one of the more common questions that I get. And I do this with a little bit of trepidation because I know that there's a lot of you guys out there that a little bit of knowledge can be awfully dangerous. So if you're not mechanically inclined or you don't know what you're doing with airsoft guns, the best bet is bring it into the store, bring it in here and let us take a look at it. Obviously, if you bought the gun from us, we're gonna take care of you and not get you stuck with some massive repair bill. But even if you didn't buy it from us, bring it on in, we'll take a look at it and see what we can do. Because if you start messing around with it yourself, the odds are you're probably gonna make the problem worse than it was when you started. But for those of you out there that are mechanically inclined and wanna give it a shot, this week I thought we'd take on the common question of how to fix a leaky gas magazine. We've all been there where sooner or later anybody that has a green gas gun, eventually you're going to go to put gas in your gun and you're going to notice, uh oh, there's a leak. Either you're going to hear it leaking or you're just going to notice that the magazine is just not holding pressure for very long or at worst you'll actually see the liquid propane actually dripping out of the bottom of the magazine so you know you got a major problem on your hands. What causes it in a lot of magazines is just letting the magazine sit empty for a long time. The seals actually dry out and there's nothing really to hold the gas inside of the magazine. So when you go to put gas in, it just leaks out and around the valves on either the top or the bottom of the magazine. Now, there are some times where you have to accept the fact that some of these things eventually need to be replaced where you're either going to wear out the seals or the o-rings and in those cases you're going to have to replace parts on it and i don't think today's fix is really going to apply much to that but for the people that just have some dry valves on their gun and want to get it up and running again today's fix is geared mostly towards that so before we get too far along today you're going to need to get some tools together to do today's fix First of all, you're going to need just your average, ordinary, flat-headed screwdriver. I recommend one with a little bit of a narrower blade that'll fit down into the gas valve. The other thing you're going to need is some low-viscosity silicone oil. Now, if you've seen some of our other videos, you know that there are other oils that are out there that may be labeled as silicone oil, but the propellants that are in the can that are designed to actually blow the oil out of the can can actually be pretty harsh on plastics. So I would discourage you from going to the hardware store and just buying some average off-the-shelf silicone because a lot of the time you put that in your airsoft gun, you're going to wreck it. So the product we're using today is made by ICS. This is a low viscosity kind of oil. It comes out, it kind of looks like snot. It's kind of slower moving. There are higher viscosity oils that are out there. I personally recommend the low viscosity for today's uh, fix because it works better for what we're talking about. So the first thing you're going to need to do is locate on your magazine where the fill valve is. That's where you normally put the green gas into it to fill the magazine up. So you want to find that little brass fitting, take your flat-headed screwdriver and unscrew that from the magazine. Now the next thing you're going to want to do is take your low viscosity silicone oil and stick the tube down into that hole where the valve just came out of and squirt a little bit of oil inside of the magazine. The next thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and take that fill valve replace it back into the gun and tighten it back down. You want to make sure that when you put these valves in you don't over tighten it because there are little o-rings on the end of it that if you over tighten it they tend to crush the o-rings so you want to get it until it's, it's snug but not overly tight. So the next thing you want to do is go ahead and get your green gas and charge the magazine up with a good amount of green gas. Now, if the magazine has gone dry for a while, you may hear it sputter a little bit as the oil works its way back into those seals. Sometimes it's good to move the magazine around and allow the oil to circulate inside of the magazine and work its way into the crevices where the gas can leak out. Most of the time you'll hear it sputter a few times and then finally quit once the oil works itself into there. Sometimes you may have to leave the magazine sitting up for a while so that it drains down into the gas valve and eventually fixes the seal and basically re-lubricates it and causes it to quit leaking. If you notice that the gun is still leaking from different spots, like it may be leaking from the main gas valve or it may be leaking from a seam on another part of the magazine, then the odds are you probably need to get into the magazine and replace the O-rings or even replace the gas valves that are in there, which obviously are not going to be covered in today's video because you really need to have special tools in order to get in there and do those kind of repairs. But I'd say for 75 to 80 percent of the time when you've got a simple gas leak, this does take care of that sort of problem. Now it's also important to understand exactly what's causing this problem so that hopefully you can avoid some of these repairs in the future. 
The most common cause that I've seen is people using propane adapters with their green gas guns and not properly lubricating them. Now we all know that green gas is actually propane. The only major difference is besides the fact that it doesn't have that smell in it is that they add silicone oil to it. So every time you inject your gun with the gas, it's also running some oil through it to keep all of the valves lubricated. Propane obviously does not have that, so you have to add this little bit of silicone oil to it. Most of the time what you do is just take the adapter, put a few drops of this into it, and then just screw it down onto the can and inject it into your gun, and that keeps it lubricated. You can buy this stuff that's designed specifically for the adapters. I think you can even get away with just using the regular airsoft silicone oil and just sticking it in there, just as long as you're getting some sort of lubrication into it to keep it lubricated so that it doesn't leak. The other thing that I've heard of is people leaving their gas magazines completely dry. And I've heard different theories on this, and I'm sort of leaning towards the side of leaving gas in your magazine so that it stays pressurized, so some of that oil stays in there and works its way into any leaks. I'm kind of curious to hear any of you guys that are out there opinion on this as to whether it's better to leave gas in there or whether you discharge your magazines fully because I really am not completely convinced on this one way or the other, but I'm leaning towards the idea of leaving gas in the magazine when you're done with it. So if all this has just gotten you more confused and your magazine is still leaking gas, best bet, bring it here to the showroom. Let us take a look at it. We'll see if it's something that we can fix, or maybe you have to accept the fact that sooner or later this thing is just gonna wear out, and maybe it's just time to just go and get a new magazine. You know, sometimes you can fix these things, and sometimes it'll cost you maybe 20 bucks to fix the magazine, and a brand new magazine only costs you about $10 more, so maybe it's just time to go ahead and get a new magazine. If you need any more information on anything that we talked about today, best bet is come on in and talk to us about it. Most of the time, if we don't have them in stock, we can order it for you. If you can get down here, check out our website at replayairsoft.com and hopefully we'll be able to get you whatever you need to get you up and on the road again. So until then, we'll see you the next time.